Two suspects are arrested and isolated. The prosecutor offers them both the same deal. And the logic creates a devastating trap known as the prisoner's dilemma. Here are the rules. If both confess, they each get five years in prison. If neither confesses, they each get just one year on a lesser charge. But if only one confesses, the one who confesses goes free as a witness, while the silent partner gets the full 10-year sentence. They cannot communicate. What does pure self-interested logic tell each prisoner to do? From a single prisoner's viewpoint, if my partner stays silent, I'm better off confessing. I go free instead of one year. If my partner confesses, I'm still better off confessing. I get five years instead of 10. Therefore, the strictly rational choice for each, acting alone, is to confess. The tragedy is that when they both follow this rational logic, they end up with five years each, a far worse collective outcome than if they had both stayed silent and gotten just one year each. It's the foundational model of how individual rationality can lead to a worse outcome for everyone. A puzzle at the heart of cooperation, trust, and human nature itself.